Primary fights are nothing new for New Hampshire, but the standoff that lies ahead in 2023 between the Granite State and the Democratic National Committee will be different. The DNC has designed penalties for states that don't follow their new primary calendar, which strips New Hampshire of its first-in-the-nation status and demotes it into a shared primary date with Nevada. Some of these sanctions target the finances of the state Democratic Party. In an interview for Close Up, State Senate Democratic leader and DNC committee woman Donna Susi says taking resources away could hurt Democrats in statewide races in 2024 and 2026. But I do think that's a possibility. I think that the National Committee fails to recognize how important the primary is to people of both parties in New Hampshire. There are additional penalties to deter presidential candidates from putting their name on the ballot in states that don't obey the DNC. We asked Secretary of State David Scanlon if there needs to be a way to give those threatened candidates an easier path to ballot access. You think that's necessary or, or if they don't want to come, it can just be a write-in? I think if they don't want to come, it can just be a write-in. Uh, you know, the, our passions in the state are running really high right now with the challenge, and I, and I think it's important not to uh, have a knee-jerk reaction to how we might address the issues. I mean, we have time. The DNC may be looking to buy itself some time as well. It just informed the New Hampshire Democratic Party it will extend its deadline before imposing any sanctions. But the New Hampshire political establishment is already at DEFCON 1 in primary defense mode, with Secretary Scanlon ready to hold out as long as possible before announcing a date that will keep the primary first. Uh, I'm going to wait to set the date. Um, there's a lot that can happen between now and, and next fall. Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.